Okay, I see you guys in the building. Savage AF, Sean 4100, what up, though? Nikki FSU, pretty on the left and the right. <laughs> Get both sides, girl. Gina G, 70, I see y'all. Breezy JJs, welcome to class. Hope everybody did their homework. Waiting on Shang, I know he's about to jump in in a minute. Art of Bree, we see you here. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and pin this info. www.imshang.com. That's H-A-N-G.com forward slash merch. That's where you can get your Savage AF tees, masks. Um, <clears throat> we also are uh, making baby bassinets. So uh, get, get your Savage AF baby bassinet. S-A-F tees slash masks. Sorry, guys. You know, I can't type and talk. So, you know, we multitasking. Uh, boom, boom, hit him with three exclamations because that, you know, that makes the difference. That's the selling. You got to be enthusiastic when you sell. Oh, oh, B Bites Boston. I see you. Miss J Smith, 1111. Uh, we are Savage AF waiting for Shang to jump in on this thing a dang. Um, it is September 18th, 2020, a Friday is what they call it. Hey, uh, Kane Garnine, we see you. El Noop, yo, yo. Um, we are here Monday through Friday. I see Shang in the building. Here we're going to bring him in. Monday through Friday. Uh, G Live. Mondays and Fridays, we are on uh, at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday through Thursday, we are on 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Yo. Time. Shang is in the building. There we go. What's um, going on, young man? What up, man? So I was, just, I was giving them a rundown of, of, of the IG Live shit, but maybe you want to let them know because some people ain't watching us on IG Live. Some people might be listening to us later on wherever they get their right. uh, podcasts. And, uh, I, I try to explain to y'all in a, in, a, in a way that is easily understandable, but I, I need y'all to understand it in an understandable way. Mm -hmm. I need y'all to definitely make sure that you subscribe to our podcast version of the show, which is Savage AF. Okay, it's on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, SoundCloud, uh, you know, everything that you could see, podcast, we on that shit. And so we need you. That's right. We need you. We need you to definitely subscribe, and make our numbers go back up to the, you know, uh, up and up, not back up, but up and up and up. And we appreciate it. Make sure you follow us, all, you know, follow us on all of those platforms. That's all I'm saying. I mean, that, that's, not, that, 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 that's not that hard to do. God damn it. That, 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 really damn it. It's really not that hard to do, man. Uh, what it is. Uh, what, uh, side note, uh, Detroit 2 is fire. Um, yeah, the album's hot. I listened to it last night. I was like, "What the fuck?" He skills. Um, Lucky me. Definitely, Big Sean. Pressure's what I eat. Hey. Um, yeah, raised by the wolves is the joint. Yeah. Uh, Lady G said, "What are my thoughts on Chris Rock's comments?" I haven't heard it. You know, me and that brother haven't talked. Yeah, Chris Rock. What Chris, Chris Rock said that the the reason the pandemic um, is where it's at is because uh, Nancy Pelosi focused too much on impeachment. And uh, I think Chris bumped his head. Um, good dude. Like him a lot, but he bumped his head. And everybody bumps their head sometimes, but I think he bumped his head hard as fuck, and it, and it made him think weird shit. So, yeah. I hadn't heard Chris say that. Usually he's a, uh, <laughs> a more conscious brother than that. Um, <laughs> no, no, he just, I mean, he's lost. He, he's lost his. The, the he's lost his marbles on this one. The impeachment was the impeachment. It just was what it was. If you're right. saying, if, if if he's trying to suggest that somehow, because it wasn't Nancy Pelosi's job to corral us and you know corral this uh, virus and and direct us through it. You know that that that's the executive branch shit. And uh, you know if you're saying that he got distracted by that, that's on him. You know, the impeachment was, was the impeachment. You got motherfuckers dealing with Russia, Ukraine, all kind of shit. You got to impeach this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, period. He was, he was doing dirt. He did dirt. And, you know, Mueller fucking bitched up and didn't, you know, make it a crime because he was trying to be, you know, whatever the fuck. He's trying to be caucus, caucasoid as he is. And, and that's it. That's the only other reason. So, Chris, we love your comedy. We think you're one of the baddest motherfuckers in the game. But... Nigga, you are wrong. I had to sing it almost. Wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, and 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 yeah, no, no publicity bag. We're not calling Chris Rock a coon because 
I think, like I said, he's normally a more conscious brother than that. So, uh, you know, it's just one of them things, difference of opinion. Uh, but <laughs> right. I, I, yeah, I, I everybody, I've said crazy shit. Yeah, yes. I've said crazy <laughs> shit that was totally off the mark. I actually said that um, Trump wasn't possibly going to win this fucking election I, because Hillary was too hated. Eat those donuts. I mean, I'm because he was he was too stupid and incompetent, and he said too much shit, and he talked about grabbing pussies. The right, the religious right, is not going to fuck with him, and I was wrong. God damn, the religious right's like, well, if you grab a, a pussy in in a certain way. If that you do it, praises Jesus. If you do if it you for the Lord, praise Jesus while you're grabbing the pussy, right? Yeah. You got to do it for the Lord. All right, so you got to you got to grab the pussy for the Lord. Yeah. Say, yeah. Speaking of saying crazy shit, we are Savage AF. If you don't like anything you hear on this show, uh, fuck your feelings. First of all, <laughs> yeah, um, we we experienced that yesterday, and uh, yeah, it was interesting. We're getting getting it a lot lately. Uh, we do have a resident hater in the building. Publicity Mag is back, so let's go. Uh, let's get into it, y'all. So, got a new title <laughs> for the president. He's no longer POTUS. It's POTUNA, which is the president yeah. of, of the United Nazis of America. We're going to talk about his speech at the National Archive yesterday. We're going to talk about that. But before we talk about that, this yeah. is the Daily Run-Up, by the way, uh, September 18th, twenty. It's not a rundown. I know everybody thinks, wait, wait a minute, run, run down. down. No, sure. no, run up. We're going to run That's up That's what we're trying your to tell you. We do shit different. See how my hands is moving? I'm doing shit different. Boom. All right. Or I'm in a breakdance battle that I don't know about. Uh, right. So, uh, Potuna, we're going to end with that. But before that, we're going to talk about holding the line. Um, early voting yeah. has begun. And in Virginia, they are seeing like four hour uh, long lines. So that's why it's very important that we get out and, and vote uh, this season and early as possible. Um, right. But before we talk I'm about I'm voting that, by mail. I don't give a fuck what they go. say. I'm voting by mail. Get it done. Uh, but before we talk about that, we're going to talk about uh, this clock that's TikToking. Uh, and apparently, uh, they, they're going to, they're going to ban, uh, come Sunday at midnight, basically, they're going to ban the downloading of TikTok and, and WeChat to, to Chinese companies. We're going to talk about that. Uh, but before we talk about that, we're going to talk about this new title for the CDC I got, which is the Center for Dumpty's Cover-Ups. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. What, that's what the CDC is now. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah. basically, the white the White House manipulated CDC um, material, uh, subverted their protocols to put out information that they've now had to reverse again. We're gonna talk about right. That. This is the second time they had to do that, and they also get the pressure to get from the uh, president and the GOP. But we will go over that bullshit. Ain't nothing but bullshit going down. Yep, stuns Ford Angel Fifty RVA Gourmet. Y'all know y'all got to be, y'all got to call if you're going to be late for class now. But well, yeah. uh, but, I want to get a text or an email. And if I don't, you know what? I'll turn this bus around and we'll all go home. That's right. All of us. AJ Fit, welcome as well, brother. Uh, April Fools, y'all. That's what we're going to start with today. As in, y'all y'all are fools if you think that we're going to have a vaccine for everybody by April, which is something. What's up, TK? Uh, which is something that Dumpty, Dumpty promised today at the podium. Ford Angel. Uh, he, uh, he, he straight up said that uh, we're going to have vaccines for everybody. Anybody who wants one is going to have one by April. Now, I just want to remember, I just want y'all to remember his, his past April predictions, like we, we were going to be reopened by Easter, that, that, right. the, that, uh, the, that the, yeah. the virus would just go away by April. It would go away. Um, He's not doing uh, good that, with the month of that, April. That, He's not good at April. He's not good. It's not you know, good he, yeah, no, and also he actually wanted, he said that the vaccine was going to be two weeks. He also said that the replacement that they were going after for the Affordable Care Act was going to be in two weeks. And that was last three and a half June, years. bitches. <laughs> He's been in three and a half years. He ran on the thing of I'm going to take down Obamacare, which is the Affordable Care Act, by the way. Um, Which and, is just some racist and, shit because he's trying to overturn anything Obama does. And it has never come with any other kind of alternative health care plan um, whatsoever. So that, 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 that's interesting. So, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's just one of these things. But this is, this is egregious because it's obviously a plan. Wait, wait. You got to read Publicity Mag thing. I don't know if I have to. That's for you. Yeah, you have to. That's for you. Because what you just said is what he or she saying to you now. You got to, yeah. You didn't read it? You didn't see it? Just FYI, AstraZeneca gave the release dates and the WHO and NPR announced it first. Their dates were October 1st. 
for for a vaccine for everybody? I ain't, I ain't heard that. Okay, number and one, I that's asked, not gonna happen because they couldn't do it. And you know, of course, AstraZeneca is gonna want to put it out. They they about to sell this shit, but it, it's really a you know, it's got to be a vetted process to some degree, right? Like you can't just rush it through. Like Biden said, he's gonna he's gonna trust Fauci on this, right? And I, I you know, I really. That's where I am. You know what I mean? I'm, there's a few doctors and scientists I'm going to listen to. But other than that, and, I'm, and, I'm, I'm and one of them is not going to be Dr. Trump, yeah, okay? Because he thinks he knows everything exist. and he's good at everything. That and and the other thing is, other than the CDC being corrupt as fuck now, because I, I see what you say, center of, it should be corrupt. It should be CC instead DC. of CC. It, it should be corrupt center of For donkeys covers up. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's like it's about the people and that, and their health, and not making this little you know man child feel like hey, you know I cured it now vote for me, so, uh, you know. So that shit. And if you're that dumb to take that shit initially, because they really haven't vetted it the way they're supposed to, and it's supposed to be months and months and months before you just take that shit. If you, det- I'm not anti you know virus. I mean, I'm, I'm not anti vaccine, vaccine yeah. but I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm, I'm going to watch the first couple thousand of you motherfuckers. And if you start growing like, you know, titties on your eyelids, then I'm going to be like, maybe I ain't going to fuck with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so. Yeah, that's some shit. No. October 1st? Fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't know when that was. So, and just so everybody's clear, it, it's, it's really not that the CDC covered up for him. What the White House did is actually, um, so when they... CDC initially came out where like asymptomatic people should be tested. And then like a month ago, that guideline got reversed and it was like, oh, no, you don't need to uh, test asymptomatic people. Well, it turns out that that reversal on that that specific guideline uh, w- was a White House thing that they just they just printed up and put out there and did not put it past the doctors, even though they told us publicly that right. all, the, all the doctors signed off on it. They didn't. So that that's the that, you know, the. The White House it was there using the CDC as a as a cover organization to blank to put out you know right. what, what yeah, they wanted it was, to put it was, out, not what science was telling right. us. It was it was PR spin to make him look good. Everybody knows that. And publicity mag. The interview was in, on in NPR this week. I don't give a fuck. Okay, end of the day, you know what the deal is. Yo, what's up, Eve's underscore Apple seventy nine sixteen. Yep. She's the queen of savage. Mm-hmm. So I mean, no, I just it's just the, the CDC has made themselves look like a bunch of fucking idiots. If any time that they the president or the, the the White House tried to do that, they should have literally just said, you know what, that ain't gonna happen. Push back on them, but they wouldn't. They bitch up. Like half the people on that side bitch up, the Republicans bitch up. In fact, there's a new ad showing literally the incredible hypocrisy of all the people on that side. And I, I saved it. I'm going to put it up somewhere. I got it somewhere here. And I'm, I, and I might even play it to show you how full of shit these people are pretending to Trump. Just like frighteningly wrong. But you know, hypocrisy I mean, this is, is crazy. This, this is dangerous shit, though, when you like... When, when the White House, a, a non-scientific <laughs> organization, uh, manipulates scientific information on a science-based website. You know, the Center for Disease Control should be a place where you could go to get credible information about disease control. Yeah, stuff right, to yeah. keep you to fuck crazy. alive. Call me Just call me like, crazy. Don't, drink, don't drink bleach. I mean, that should be common sense, but some people don't see that, and they just go... Well, I need to call somebody about it. I need to find and, out what is what. To be to be honest, the the idea that asymptomatic people do not need to be tested is is absolutely ridiculous. I'm like, where it's is ridiculous? Where is the scientific thought in that? I mean, I'm not even a scientist, but I get it. Like, asymptomatic just means that you're not displaying symptoms. It does not mean that you cannot spread it. That you're not spreading it around to other people. Who, who might actually suffer from it. So you, right. need, you need to identify those people almost, you know, more than the people who are symptomatic because they'll be silent spreaders, right? They'll be like... Right, and they don't know that they don't know they're doing it. And uh, bottom line is he politicized the shit. Everybody know he politicized the shit. And if you don't know it, you're stupid. 
You're stupid. You're fucking stupid. And I've, I, I just want, I was going to make sure on the show today, um, George Stephanopoulos, when I say he fact-checked this motherfucker to the ground mm -hmm. when he was on ABC, and they made a, a compilation video where they cut it and showed how many times he got fucked over with facts and knowledge and logic and hypocrisy and everything. And it's really good. So it's the same shit. Basically, the CDC got into the political ring because they let the White House tell them to do something that was against fucking science. Right. And so they're being bitches. So the CDC should have a B somewhere in the description for the letter, the, the letter B for bitch. Because you bitched up. You know, a lot of people bitch up. Just like, you know, some people that try to come at us on the show. And then they realize everybody will jump them. Yeah. We're like a gang, man. We're like a we're like a savage gang. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And yeah. Pedro's the one. Pedro's the one that's usually, yeah. And y'all ain't going to do shit when Gertrude come out. <laughs> nah, that's, yeah, that's you know. Hey, you know, I try and keep Gertrude uh, chill. Uh, Yanni Kisar is like, uh, Pedro asked Oh, we are stupid. Well, why didn't, well, you're, you're, hold on, hold on, I'm reading something. He's like, ask no, no, okay. this, why didn't they test every fucking body at least once till now? Because they don't want to, dog. They don't want to, they, they, they didn't have the test. They, ain't, they don't have enough tests for everybody. They, 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 have, they haven't even run enough tests. to. to they don't want to do any of that shit, bro. They, he don't give a fuck. And all these people, we were talking about the whistleblowers yesterday. They're all coming out telling us shit, shit we knew, but you're hearing it from people who work for him uh, that he's a sociopath. He doesn't care about anything but himself and just wants to get reelected. He, he, can't, he can't make that connection between doing a good job and people wanting to reelect you. It's like he wants to ignore right. the problem and, 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 and just get reelected. It's like if he, he just wants to get reelected. Right, exactly. He, he just wants shit. to get reelected. Yeah, but it's not just him. It's the GOP, and it's also his dumbass followers and publicity mag saying we are stupid. You see the uh, we 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 you are too stupid to see the bigger story of genocide against blacks. Okay, um, okay. Are you saying that to us? Or are you saying that in general? I, don't, I, I can don't see care. that I, it could I, possibly I, be genocide. I can see it could possibly be genocide, but I'm not. I'm not down for the vaccine until I see. In fact, try to shit on all the white rich neighborhoods first. They got the access to it. Let's see how they fucking do. And then if they do great and they're like, oh, I'm healthy. I'm outside running around. I'm biting trees. I'm doing well. Then if I see a bunch of uh, Caucasians biting trees and climbing them and doing flips after they take the fucking vaccine, uh, sign me up. But until then, I don't, I'm kind of apprehensive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Biden even said I wouldn't take it if it was him telling me. RVA, Fuck that. RVA Gourmet said Maryland is now discontinuing the use of tests the governor's wife brokered from South Korea because they are unreliable. Yeah, that's another thing. I mean, nothing was, there's no, there's still no plan about this shit. Like, he just wants things to open back up and it's over. They, we're, we've rounded the corner. It's almost done. It'll be gone soon. So the, you're not, you're not going to expect reliable tests to come out from that attitude. You're not going to expect, uh, you know, any responsible tracking, tracing, anything done uh, responsibly on a national level when, when they have that, that kind of mentality or lack, lack thereof a mentality. Um, so, yeah, that, you know, you, that's why we'll, you, you know, you're not going to see widespread testing in this country as long as this dude is running it, Trumpy Dumpty, that is. Yeah, and, right. And even and I and I I have to admit, even though I think you know Biden does have a stutter and he is nine hundred years old, because um, I'm pretty sure when I watched Clash of the Titans, I saw him as an extra in it. He was one of the he was like one of the people standing next to the Kraken. But mm. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> I don't know what that thought process came from. But no, I think that the thing is when. You have a person that lies so much, so often, so about so much shit, it, and everybody around him lies, and you got doctors that start sucking his taint, then how are we going to get to people that are like, I really do want to take the vaccine, but I can't trust this motherfucker. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's as simple as that. And the CDC, what you're doing is making people feel even more apprehensive. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I think that at the end of the day, well, it, um, it, it, we got to make sure that... 
Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, you know, I want to do. I do want to highlight that the, the the CDC here was manipulated by the White House uh, around you know around this issue of asymptomatic testing. So um, it's not that the CDC was being dishonest with us. It's the White House used the CDC's website to lie to us, uh, and that that that's right. That that's what happened in this specific case. But uh, yeah, you know, it's all some bullshit, bro. It's all part of the thing. Uh, I'm I'm personally. You know, I, I would rather wait a while and let it, you know, Robert Redfield, Dr. Robert Redfield, head of the CDC, uh, told us the other day, yesterday, that uh, your mask could probably be more effective than any vaccine anytime soon. Right. So, For now. Yeah, it is, you know. I and uh, and I, Miss Adverb, they're already attacking Juice. Um, but um, with Juice, uh, we'll get no oxygen from me today. Um, you won't get any oxygen at all. Uh, you will be smothered by my fucking. No, this is. I'm telling you, it's, it's publicity, mag, and juice. They're in the. It's Bruce Wayne and Batman in the building at the same time, or I should yeah. say, the Joker and the Penguin. There, it's, it's low the same. numbers again. Uh, oh god, here we go. Don't, don't don't. You know what, man? No 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 no. Uh, no, no, no. Come on. You Shane. know what? Yeah, I know. I was gonna say. You. I was gonna say this. The other thing about uh, that, I think that's gonna happen, especially when the. He's going to try to use that, like, well, the vaccine's out. They're going to push it out there if they do get it done by chance by that date. And he thinks by that time it'll make everybody, before they go vote, you know, flip-flop to him. And he doesn't understand. He's done so much fucked-up shit that, you know, even if he does get the vaccine out by that time, people don't trust him, and it's not going to be a good time. It's not going to be good for him, at least votes-wise. Now, cheating-wise, yes. Yes, he will cheat. For sure. Yeah, yeah. No way. I mean, that, those are his things. That's why Russia isn't a problem uh, because Russia isn't a problem because. Keep going. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, but you know that's why Russia isn't a national problem right now because they're helping him get elected. So um, cheating is part of the strategy. Voter suppression is definitely part of the strategy. Um, but. Uh, while we're talking about international shit, let, let's look at China for a second, because uh, the clock is tick tocking. Um, the the Dumpty administration is going to ban the download of TikTok and WeChat, um, these two these two apps that uh, that are Chinese based and uh, you know are said to have some you know privacy issues um, in terms of uh, harvesting people's information and things of that nature. Uh, here's Shang coming back at us. Boom, we're going to bring him back in live. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Nikki. King of Segways, we're going to do it. So uh, the clock is TikToking on TikTok. Uh, right. I, I'm, I, I'm bringing up the TikTok situation now, Shang and Dang. Right, I heard you, yeah. Now, you know, I get the sense that most of our audience is grown and sexy. <laughs> so most, most of y'all maybe aren't TikToking out there. I know I'm not. I. The last thing I yeah, that another... I mean, but TikTok does make people famous and it does get people on. And I've seen some comics that have really got on because of TikTok and, you know, stars do it. But I think that the reason that they're even banning it in any way, shape or form or America's mad at it is because TikTok was making fun of Trump. Trump got mad, was trying to buy it and all this other stuff. He's a child. He's a child that's a petulant child that wants to get mad at things. Yo, you're not going to talk bad about me. Hmm, hmm. And he's a, he's a, he's a bitch. Somewhat like some of the people that not everybody on Savage, but a few people that make comments on here uh, are, have a lot of a lot of bitch in them, a lot of bitch in them. But I'm not going to say who. Um, but, you know, a lot of bitch, a lot of bitch in them. A whole lot of. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I are, are any of y'all using TikTok out there? Anybody? Any? any? Oh, no, it's fine. I, I have a TikTok. I just haven't used it. You know, yeah. Uh, RVA Gourmet yeah. said her, her kids, her students are using it. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I, I look at these things, Snapchat, TikTok, I'm, I don't get the point of it. I can't even deal with Twitter. It does. I, 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 I get the I point can't. of it. It's so you can get on there and dance and be silly. And it's very, you know, it's, you know, I get it, but it's just that there's so many different apps. I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. I'll, I'll, let me focus on one. Uh, you know, let's see what I can do. So, you know, I, I don't trip on it, but I know that the president was tripping on it because they were fucking going hard in the paint, you know what I'm saying? So he, he here, here's a funny thing. So here's the thing that he wants is like, the, you know, there are apparently American entities that are looking to buy TikTok. 
Um, and Trumpy Dumpty, he was surprised the other day when he found out that the U.S. government can't get a piece of that deal. <laughs> like, like this motherfucker, right. wanted, he wanted a piece of this business deal to go to the United States government because, you know, in, in his mind, they're, you know, he's the one making it happen and facilitating it. And he was like, he was like, and then, and then the lawyers come and they tell me that we can't do that, that it's illegal. And I'm like, what kind of government is this? It's like um, a, a legit one that, you know, isn't part of private, yeah, it's, private it's one deals. that try, you know, exactly. yeah, but I mean, <laughs> he's always trying to do shit like that. He, and I mean, he basically what he did with Goya, you know, like advertising for him because they were propping him up and, you know, and spending money, it's special interest group shit. But TikTok, I mean, he wanted a part of that deal. He's been shut down across the courts constantly with stupid shit like this. And this is just another example. And all the people that follow him, because you know that they all had their head, you know, bounced off of a cement and it never brain never got right. They they think, well, man, he, well why can't we just buy it? Because you can't just do shit like that. You can't use the fucking White House as your personal fucking agent to go get shit. It's bullshit. So I, is, I'm, I'm so I'm so tired of this. This dummy. is why. Uh, God this, damn. Uh, speaking of dummies, uh, this is why I like to bounce off of publicity mag sometimes, because sometimes they make dummy points that I can use uh, for intelligent points. So you say poor people spend most of their time worrying about rich people, uh, what they can afford and shouldn't buy. Books in the U.S. are available to 100 percent of poor people. Now, as a product of one of the poorest public school systems in America, which is the Detroit public school system, I can attest to many times in high school. I went to the best high school in the city. It's the largest high school in the city. But we always didn't, did, we, not every class always had all the books for everybody. Like, I literally remember running out of books in some class. I, I always got my book, but sometimes niggas didn't get books in, in school. I also uh, saw a story yesterday. I wasn't aware of this history of Wilmington, uh, North Carolina, where... Um, Apparently there was a, a very rich, it was Tulsa-like, a very you know rich, wealthy, well-to-do black part of, of town. Or, or Wilmington had, had at that time been predominantly black and doing very, very well. And um, until very recently, you couldn't, you couldn't access any books about this racist white mob that took out, that took out black people in, in Wilmington and, and destroyed that community. Until very recently, you couldn't even get any books about that. The Wilmington Library had that locked away. So don't give me that bullshit about poor people. Always about, have yeah, you got to have books. And by the way, you, uh, President Trump did not advertise Goya. And wait a minute. Hold on. Is that a picture of him at the White House using our tax dollars to advertise? What the fuck is that, publicity mag? Goya. So yes, he did. If I'm if I'm the president, if I stand there with a certain type of jet ski, guess what? That company gets publicity, and we and you and we, you're helping them buy shit. You know their shit get bought. So you, publicity, man, that's number one. You said something dumb. Number two, that well, poor people too busy thinking about rich people. No, poor people too busy trying to get by and just get by. A lot of times they're not thinking about rich people. So that's some other bitch shit said period the end and you know what i'm gonna let i'm gonna let our savage af listeners um deal with uh, yeah, uh no. juicy booty Maybe. i'm gonna let them deal with it but yeah because you know it's but you gotta you just got proved wrong flat out with this picture this picture is everywhere on the fucking internet and that's it and poor people get the fuck out of here you know <laughs> what i swear to oh <laughs> on 18 i love on 18 18 i love Eat a dick. I mean that. I mean that you could eat a dick. And a can, a can of damn, a can of Goya dicks. That's what it is. Um, yeah, but, you but said anyway. no. He didn't advertise Goya. Yes, he did. And Shut yeah. up. The, and yeah, we've heard of public libraries, but what I was trying to tell you is that the Wilmington Public Library, library was withholding information from Black people about its own history in that community. So, yeah, and right. And, and again, in Detroit, I don't know about y'all cities. But they have not been pouring money into the public library system. So I, you know, please stop with that. Um, that being said, um, I don't know who's on TikTok, but your boy Trumpy Dumpty is, is highly disappointed that his administration ain't going to get any money <laughs> off of a TikTok From deal. TikTok, yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, sorry you can't get none of our shit. 
and then but do maybe, the dance and then backwards and do the dance. Yeah, maybe, sorry, maybe, he ain't gonna get none of our, the money. Maybe but, the banding. Um, he's already do. making enough money off of Marlago and all the other illegal shit he's doing and the fucking patents and that his daughter's magically getting in China. So all you motherfuckers is trying to come with these. Not you talking about fake news? That's fake news. And Pedro just told you they blocked, they censored certain information from black people. When you try to get books, if you look at history the way it's taught, it's not taught the way it really was. So you say, I could read a book all day if the shit is fucked up and wrong. So you know what? Whatever. And no one cares about those damn, in De oh, dimwits in Detroit. Wow. The, wow. No one gives a damn about the dimwits in Detroit. Detroit okay. should be closed permanently. You know what should be close to I, 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 no, no, I dare you to, I, I dare you to step onto one Detroit street and yell that out loud. Like, I, nigga, I dare you to, like, I will pay you, homie, to go, go anywhere in Detroit and yell out that we ain't shit, we didn't with, and we need to be closed. You know what's going to get closed? Your fucking face. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. Niggas, niggas will shut you your gonna face after, right You're going to get aftermarket up. holes in your head. That's what the fuck you're going to do. That's stupid. But at, we move on. We move on from the stupidity um, publicity. Oh, <laughs> AJ Fitz called a publicity gag is fake news. Yeah, it is. It is. We know what it is. We got, <laughs> oh, we got, we got Bassianas yeah. in the building today, y'all. Welcome to Savage. Yeah, Man. just silly. Home with the Bassianas, uh, like publicity yeah, mag and, yeah, and juicy booty, with uh, whatever. But we're going to move on with ours, man. Fuck TikTok. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. Um, and, and speaking of fuck Donald Trump, oh, Shang had to jump again. He got a call, but he'll be back. We know what it is. Um, so speaking of fuck Donald Trump, I, I, I'm hoping that's what this show of, of force uh, as Virginia opens up early voting today, uh, or they did open up. We are on the East Coast, but I mean, we're on the West Coast. They're on the East Coast. But uh, people stood in line for uh, like four hours. I got you, Shang. Here we go. People stood in line for like four hours in Virginia um to, to to begin their early voting and and i do encourage that if you are going to go to the polls go as soon as you can all right do not wait do not pass go do not collect 200 dollars. <laughs> all right take your ass straight to the voting polls as soon as they're open if you're going to go and vote in public uh, right or in it, person but, I should but say. yeah and and also what it does is by you voting early by the time we do get to the actual voting date um then it actually makes less people and less congestion so it's a smart thing to do, especially what's going on right now. And, and um, again, I'm sorry about the dropping out. I have um, spam calls that come in. I tried to block them, and the spam calls come through, but not the other ones. So I got to figure a way to block these spam yeah. calls. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's what it is, man. So uh, and I know we got Virginia people in here, RVA Gourmet. That's what that RVA is. <laughs> Richmond. Um, so get out there, y'all. And, and as soon as you can... Early vote, mail your vote in, request your ballot, do all of it. And ASAP, right. you're not waiting until the last day of and the deadlines and all of that. Fuck all of that. Get out there now. I, I salute. I salute. Actually, those. right now, what they, what the, in California at least, what they're doing is making sure that you're aware of it. And they're sending these out. I don't know if anybody, that if you're in California, you can get these now. So you can actually send it back in, double check that everything is okay. So you don't even have to go there to make sure you're okay, and they will just send you an email or you get a voice message. So the, it's it's there's a lot of things they're putting in place to help you with the election and to get out there. And, and Virginia's doing the shit, thug life, real up close, first off in the mix. So that for the other people that can do it, especially battleground states, go as early as fucking possible because this shit is going to be a battle, and especially with a, a cheating cunt of a man and fucking administration. They're all of them. Like, not just some of them. All of them are bitches. Like, yep. I, like there, there's hardly any Republicans that have gone against him. There's hardly any Republicans that have said, yo, he's fucking trying to cheat the election and by dissing the post office. Nobody, they, maybe a, a few Republicans, but not as many that should have. This is also affecting Republicans to vote too, you dummy, it's dumb bitch. It's affecting democracy. It is affecting... Our yeah. entire political structure. Uh, Carolina Boss, I appreciate you. You said if we have Batianas, it's because uh, we make a difference. Thank you, brother. A little encouragement never hurt nobody. Come on, guys. Uh, appreciate yeah. you, Carolina <laughs> Boss. But yeah, um, you know, it's, and, and so keep in mind, go vote as early. If you are Republican, uh, know that early voting um, 
starts on uh, November 35th. So that's when you want to go out November 35th and vote right. if you're, and, if and you're just, Republican. There's two different voting days. Uh, Democrats have our own voting day, and then Republicans, y'all start on November 35th and runs all, all the way through December 79th. Um, so uh, go ahead and take right. advantage of and those now days. Make sure you write that down. December 79th. Don't mess up and don't fuck it up, okay? And uh, you know what? I got to tell you something. It's funny how the people in the feed, um, it's like piranhas. You drop a little bit of blood chum in the water. A little no, chum in the water. And it's like a little blood. chum in the water, and they go in. And, but you know what? Not today. Not today, motherfuckers. Not today. I, I let Publicity Mad get me a little bit, but not today, motherfuckers. Nah, it, not today. That's that bullshit. Because you know what? When a nigga starts whispering, when he starts whispering. <laughs> like that? <laughs> Real deep like yeah. that? Listen, motherfucker. You better shut up, and you better shut up now. <laughs> That's lines, when you know the shit will get real thick. The lines were longest in Virginia's uh, largest district, Fairfax County, uh, mostly, right. Demo mostly Democratic. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and assume that, you know, this large turnout is a, is a Democratic voter response to uh, what are obviously blatant attempts to uh, suppress votes, especially among blue voters. Um, all the talk against mail-in voting, uh, you know, physically removing mailboxes, uh, mail sorting machines, right. sorting um, machines. No, not only not, not only that, but um, uh, intimidation. They wanted they were they're actually talking about intimidation for sending um, military and police to polling places while people are you know trying to vote. So I mean, it's it's all over. It's all over the place and how they're going about it. And it's obvious they're trying to cheat. And I'm thinking that I want to say this to all the people that. And, and and publicity mag and 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 juicy fruit or whatever the fuck your name is, <laughs> um, you know. Um, the, let me ask you this: pretend since you're on that side solidly, okay. If you're so dope and you're so good, why don't you just have a have it be up and up? Don't try to fuck with the post office. Don't try to do none of that. Just hey, if you're good, you're if you get more votes and you're better than us, okay, you won. Fuck it. I got to live with your bitch ass orange cunt stick for another four years. But if you're not, let it happen. That's the thing I've never understood with Caucasians or the Pygmy Challenge. Also, black people who are cracker ass crackers underneath their black skin. If, if it's so perfect, if they're so like, oh, they're the best in the world, why do they have to cheat so much? Why do they have to enslave people? Why do they have to go <clears throat> get people to do their work for them? Just do your work yourself. Pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. You've heard that bitch ass shit before, haven't you? Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Trump, you're the smartest in everything, science and everything else. Why don't you just, I could win without even trying. Well, then do the shit, bitch. But you cheat. Because he's a cheat ass, cheat ass, cheater. cheater. Like, like, like uh, was it at yesterday's conference, at today's press conference? Um, the, one reporter asked him if he, if he actually thought he knew more than. Uh, his scientists and, you know, his advisors. And he was just like, well, you know, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I know more than them. So it, th that is the mentality we're dealing with, um, wh which leads us into our, you know, our final topic today, which is I'm, I'm renaming uh, the position of POTUS, which usually stands for President of the United States. Uh, <laughs> and is now POTUNA. Is that Potuna. it? POTUNA. P-O-T-U-N-A. Oh, okay. President of the United Nazis of America. Uh, we are officially dealing with Nazi mentality. I'm, I'm referring uh, specifically to um, the speech he gave yesterday in the, in the National Archives. And, you know, when he gives these speeches, he sounds like a, a, a very nervous third grader at a spelling bee or something. You know, he's like, right. I have done a great job with the coronavirus and we are teaching hatred and racism. And now I am so... When, when he starts saying things like this, he's like, students in our universities are inundated with critical race theory. This is a Marxist doctrine holding that America is a wicked and racist, racist nation, that even young children are complicit in oppression, and that our entire society must be radically transformed. Critical race theory is being forced into our children's schools, is being imposed into workplace trainings, and is being deployed to rip apart friends, neighbors, and families. Um, he goes on to say a bunch of shit in this, but 
essentially what he's trying to do is see because that that's already some bullshit what i so right like, because what what i'm trying to tell you is that they they are the ones trying to erase america's true history right which is right root, rooted heavily in racism so in response to the 1619 project right um the acclaimed new york times piece put together by uh what's her name nicole hannah jones black woman red hair go get them on fire. Go get them. Go uh, get them. Fire. You know, fire. Bars. In That's response, what I'm saying. In response to the 1619 Project, he wants to come up with the 1776 Commission um, to, to, to teach the, the patriotic. He wants to encourage our educators to teach our children about the miracle of American history and make plans to honor the 250th anniversary of our funding. Uh, of our founding, I'm sorry. He wants to restore patriotic education to our schools. Patriotic. Oh, education. there's so much bull. Patriotic education, just like he wanted to keep the fucking statues up of corrupt, racist ass traitors. He wanted to keep that up, and he was like, "Yeah, we're gonna keep the statues up so we can still know that history." And the statues were put up to try to oppress black people. Like, this is what the fuck happened to you, and this is the dude that did it. What you gonna do? It was all about that. The statues, the fucking flag, the Confederate flag. You're a loser ass flag. You understand, bitch? You lost. You didn't win. You lost. And you want to fly that flag because you got bitch ass mentality. And and you know what? It's the truth. You're always trying to, you know, circumvent what the real truth is with your bullshit ass lies because you know the truth would make some people open their eyes and be really want to fuck you up. That's what it is. And and yeah. they, because they, you know what? They're they they are so full of shit. I'm telling you, I'm gonna play. It's only a minute. But I'm going to play this. I got to play this ad so you can see this. These groups that are Republicans, so, they're going so hard in the paint. It's crazy. So, I'm, Yanni, I mean, after a little bit later, I mean, before we get off. Yanni Kisar knows where I'm going with this. He says, uh, I'm guessing the similarities to Germany in 1939 are mind boggling. And, and that's exa exactly where I'm going with this. Understand that when fascists get to fascist sitting, you know, shit and they get they get into their fascist mode. Um, the, the, one of the main things they're going to attack is education and history, right? They're going to try and rewrite the history, right? So what Hitler did was, you know, stir up this whole thing about how Jews had stolen everything and taken all their shit right. and had all the money. That, that ain't what happened. That, that ain't how it went down. You know what I mean? It's just like immigrants here are taking all the jobs. Immigrants ain't taking your jobs. Okay, corporate America sent your jobs to other countries with poorer workforces that demand less wages. Right. So, that that's what took your job. It's not. And I ain't seen in. your ass out there picking oranges. I ain't seen you out there picking strawberries in the hot sun. That's shit that you don't want to do. But you want your fucking strawberry. You want your strawberry daiquiri with real strawberries, don't you, bitch? So, oh yeah. man. So what they how do? Much, so, how much so, bullshit can we take? So what, Come on. So what man. they do? What they do is they they they're gonna rewrite the history. Okay. And and when, and when Trumpy Dumpty talks about bringing back patriotic education, that's already happening. Like Texas, you know, obviously one of the largest um, school systems in in the nation in in, in terms of statewide. Uh, years ago, they ordered books uh, where the history books now teach that the Civil War was about states' rights. You know, just just general states' rights. Uh, number just two, in general, just putting that in your fucking ear. Sectionalism, which I don't even know what that is, is number two. And then the third thing is slavery. You know, slavery. You know, just a real, real quiet slavery. So, 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 don't, don't, so a, re, a rewriting, like, don't say nothing. Yeah, don't a, rewriting say nothing. Of, yeah. a rewriting of history is already occurring, man. And uh, and, and once Texas they do, once is they leading that, the fucking forefront yeah. of it. Yeah. Once they do that, then we don't have, you know, then then our history becomes invalid. So then the things we fight for didn't didn't exist, didn't happen, right? You know, it's like Holocaust denying, right? You know, what I mean, you can't can't get any justice, can't get any retribution. If if the perpetrators don't even acknowledge the, uh, the right the crime, the crime, so that uh, no, the crime didn't happen. Like I didn't hit you. I don't know what you're talking about. No, yeah, fucking yes, you did. No, I don't. I show me it on paper. Show me. Oh, it's not here. Oh, well, well, let it go. It it was you. And by the way, uh, you know the the you know what the last shit in the world publicity magazine mag mag where you call everybody coons. Uh, I can't see any coonish behavior here other than you. So I, I, I see what you're trying to do, but, you know, you're wrong. I just want you to know that. And, you know, 
There's some people in the world, not me, not me, but a motherfucker I know that's like me that will punch you in your fucking face when you say shit like that. Yeah. Just, I'm just saying, not me, not me. That wouldn't be me, but I, motherfuckers well, I, know, I, know, I know like know some So I'm just letting them put that out there in the air just in case. Um, I got it. Well, I, I, I don't know if you saw this, Pedro. I'm going to, everybody, you got to see it. It's not, not even a minute, not even a minute. Uh, it's, it's it's beyond. Uh, I've never seen this particular thing, and we already know. Everybody knows who that. That's a uh, Lindsay bitch ass Lindsay Graham. Graham. Yeah, Lin Lindsay bitch ass. L Lindsay Snorter Graham. What concerns me about the American press is this endless, endless attempt. He gives a poop. I think he's crazy. I think he's unfit for office. What concerns me about the American press is this endless, endless attempt to label the guy as some kind of kook, uh, not fit to be president. Donald Trump has shown himself to be a showman. I don't think he's a serious candidate. You may know me as a supporter of President Trump. We've spent seven and a half years with an authoritarian president who ignored our Constitution. We don't need four more years of that. Susan and Nick are more safe, and their freedom's more secure. <laughs> because President Trump has put his America First vision into action. Donald Trump's candidacy is a cancer on conservatism, and it must be clearly diagnosed, excised, and discarded. And I said, Mr. President, I know there are people that say, you know, you, you said you were the chosen one. And I, I said, you were. Even more so, I had maybe something a little more intelligent to say than the Mexicans are going to pay for it. Join me in supporting President Trump. This man is a pathological liar, a narcissist at a level... I don't think this country's ever seen Donald Trump will be overwhelmingly reelected as president of the United States. I have an obscene relationship with Salami. I just love cold meat. The best is yet. Uh, I can't even. It just the, goes the, on about the best not, is cocaine, 10 more seconds, but I had to. Did, now, now, I want to hear somebody say that, that these people aren't giant fucking hypocrites. You saw it for your own eyes, publicity mag. You saw it for your own eyes, uh, loose booty, uh, twenty-two, whatever the fuck your name is, um, uh, butt cheek, uh, butt cheek smash. Uh, I know that's that, that's probably that's your uh, that's your your name on all the gay websites. But uh, I'm just saying, did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, that's all I'm saying. I'm saying the hypo hy hypocrisy of these people is off the fucking charts. I, I complete this. This ad was a good one. This is a good one by uh, the Lincoln Project. By the by, the way, it's called the Lincoln Project. Yeah, um, but you know, and and we need uh, sort of true Republicans, whatever that now means. Uh, to, to <laughs> whatever that means now, I know stand up. none of them. Now we we got to rely on them, but uh, you know, to speak out against this because we we I mean this is this is fascism, guys. You know, like he wants to put troops on the streets and bash heads and, you know, put down protests and, uh, you know, they would burn all the books if they could. Um, yeah, right. They, and except for the Bible, which if, by the way, uh, I don't know if you ever, if you saw the footage of that, he held it upside down, which I thought made it even funnier that he tried to act like he's religious and he's not. He just, he caters to, and religious people are full of shit too. And not all religious people, because I know that you guys are like, well, I'm religious. But I mean, the right wing religious that actually support this, obviously, this man has no moral center at all, at all. And yet you still support him because you put your, your, your fucking agenda of judges and everything above good and right and facts. And you're a bunch of hypocrites. So fuck all y'all. Fuck you and your church. And fuck you and your pastor that buys into this bullshit that this president said when everything he's done, multiple mamas, uh, uh, fucking cheating with prostitutes and porn stars and, and you know, racist, fuck, racist. So I, I can't, it's hard for me to embrace re religion when I see the people that are religious do shit like this. Oh, what about the Catholic Church? You mean the boy fuckers that actually, some of these fuckers, Fucking people have actually diddled little boys and they don't go to jail. They get transferred to another church. This is what I'm supposed to fucking follow. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here.
Um, yeah, man. So, um, and, and beyond all this hypocrisy, just understand that there, there are real forces working to, you know, he's not joking when he's like, eight more years, 12 more years, oh, 20 more years. Like, they, they. Yo, he did say that, didn't he? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he did say, wow. So, uh, I, ain't, but, I, ain't, I ain't heard one thing from publicity man pertaining to that. How come you ain't jumping and say, well, that's not true. That was Photoshop. That was uh, special effects. How come you haven't said anything pertaining to the hypocrisy pertaining to these motherfuckers? Or the fact that he said he wants to go against everything in the law pertaining to the presidency and says he want to be there another eight years. Publicity, All right? Publicity Mag talks about their own people like crackers do. <laughs> so you're a nigga that think they're a cracker. You know what I mean? They'd be like... Blacks, all you blacks, you blacks and blacks, black. I'm like, nigga, you black. Ain't you black? Are you black? Are you black? If you ain't black, then talk, stop talking about blacks like you ain't Okay, so. Right, yeah, it's uh, yeah. It's either we or or you a cracker or a nigga that think you a cracker, okay? So just stop talking about <laughs> old people like we a box of fucking crayons. Like, hand me some blacks so I can draw these lines, okay? Like, I, it's, you, you don't even know how to talk about your own people in the right way, so I, it, it's all good. Um, right. Yeah. That that was. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. I am fussing with these people. I wasn't listening. I was not listening. Well, they heard me. And you know what? Publicity man, yeah, I'll inbox you the fucking link. How about that? You watch this hypocrisy. All right. These cunty cunts. All right. She can't type and listen, but we the dumb ones. <laughs> yeah. You, can, you can't read, listen, and type, but we the dumb ones. Okay. Yeah. I do it. I do it every time I pin a comment. I might struggle through it, but goddamn it, I type and talk. Okay. Exactly. And, listen, and, and you listen, notice, listen. you notice that because I, you know, uh, uh, loose booty, juice booty, whatever the fuck, um, when he couldn't get no oxygen, oxygen, trying to say shit, all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, whatever, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back and you fuck out of here. It's funny when <laughs> motherfuckers return after a body. And by the way, Miss, yeah, Edinburgh, what, what's do you do with all these bodies? Like, what what do you do with all these bodies that you are collecting here on Savage AF? Because she is, she is, in the past two weeks, she has bodied uh, as many She's been bodying people, yeah, just like, yeah. Mouth breather, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, but no, I, no, the, honestly, I got to say something about the fact that uh, me and Pedro both know we deal with this shit. We chose to do this show. When we were doing it on the radio, we knew we'd have some people that wouldn't agree with us. So I'm going to let you know, we welcome you to have all kind of, Shit you want to say to us, you could talk shit. You could say we can't read. You could say, even though you just hear someone read, you go, ah, you can't read, which is part of your your own stupidity. When you see somebody do something and then you say they can't do it when they just did it. Hmm, ah, I just said that sentence. Bam. So, I mean, end of the day, we don't, I mean, the other people will jump on you, but we'll jump on you, but you got to be able to handle it because it's called Savage as Fuck, okay? And make sure you check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify, and SoundCloud. Subscribe to the fucking channel. Make sure you subscribe. Also, follow, and if you get a chance, you want to get you some Savage AF gear, if you're cool, you only the cool motherfuckers. If you're a real cool motherfucker, go to IamShang.com backslash merch and get a Savage AF t-shirt. A mask. And we appreciate all the people that have bought the mask and the t-shirts. And we really do. Um, it was, uh, what was her name? Vanessa. Thank you. Uh, it was like a week ago. But thank you. I forgot to thank you for buying one of the Savage AF masks. And um, Eve should have you know, sent it straight out to you. Okay. Cool. AJ, I'm going to get back. AJ, oh, yeah. AJ said, oh, publicity mag and juicy uh, blocked me at the same time, by the way. How, tell us what's your secret, AJ Fit? <laughs> How to can we get blocked by these two idiots? <laughs> I'm, I'm tell me, lead the way, uh, and then publicity. No, I want them to be a part of it. I want, I, I want to hear the dissent, the dissenting voices. But the bottom yeah. line is, I just, I can pull up. I'm gonna start pulling shit up on them. Anytime you said, well, no, the president didn't advertise Goya, then I show a photo of him in the White House at the fucking desk with Goya. Well, he didn't. They do, they're not hypocrites. And then I show you video of the motherfuckers that are hypocrites. See? And, and Mr. Publicity yes. Mag, I'll send you the fucking clip. I'm yes. going to send you the clip when we get done with this shit today. This so is, you can see is, that I wasn't bullshitting you. This is, all, this is all we need to hear from Publicity Mag. This says it all. I will give black people all the money they need, but I am not going to the hood for anything. She put hood in uh, in, uh, air, in quotation marks, I should say. Uh, so... Here's the thing. 
You ain't real enough for the hood, dog. You can't go. You can't go to the hood for pussy, man. You probably wear sear sucker socks or some shit like that. <laughs> your, your all that shit about Detroit, all that shit you said about Detroit, it's like, you know, it's you sound like fucking, you sound like a Trumper because they said it about Baltimore. They said it about New York City, that New York City's a piece of trash and dish and that. You know why he feels that way about it? Because New York never embraced Trump the way he wanted them to. The elites never embraced him. The fucking people that embraced him, some dumbass rappers may have embraced him, but not overall. New Yorkers knew he was a piece of shit from get-go. All of the construction workers that have worked for him and he did pay, they knew he was a piece of shit. So if you back anybody like that, most people be like, ah, then you're a piece of shit too. That's how that works. Uh, by the way, if you guys were wondering what Miss Adverb does with all the bodies, she said she makes earrings. Uh, we've also had a wow. uh, suggestion that she should make a chain of skulls uh, from all those bodies. Thank you, Siba. Leave it to Detroit yeah. niggas to give you, give you the, uh, the hardest jewelry ever. Nigga, you should wear these skulls around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, Miss Adverb um, would do that. She would do that shit. But no, aside aside from that, we we get it. We get what you're doing, and we do. We don't want to. We don't block people. Welcome them. I'm not blocking nobody. I ain't blocking nobody. And I, you could get at me. Welcome, welcome in. Talk your shit. But if you can't hang, and you talk your shit like, yeah, Detroit should be closed, and ah, New York City's a piece of shit. Whatever. Okay. But you know what? It's uh, better than some other places. I yo, J News just joined. What up, Jay News? <laughs> we yeah, about to be done in like three minutes, but Jay News, yeah, <laughs> cheer. Um, okay. Yeah, but, you know, it, it, it's, it, it is funny to see, and but we do get a lot of love and support from uh, the, the vast majority of you, you on here. So we thank you guys for rocking with us on IG Live, uh, Mondays through Friday, Monday, Friday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Uh, you know how we do it, y'all. We will be back here on Monday. Make sure you follow at Comedian Shane, at Savage. Make sure you follow at Black Pedro. Everybody on my page, stop fucking around. Go follow Black Pedro, at Black Pedro. I'm sorry. And also make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Um, we're working on it, trying to get everything up. It takes a long time to get the backlog of stuff updated, but it is in the process. Um, shout out to um, Eve underscore um, Apple 7916. He's rocking it out for us. Thank you so much. Just letting y'all know what the update is. And this weekend, I hope you have a good weekend. And I hope that, you know, you don't run into, you know, stupid people too much. Okay, wow. Here we go. I give thousands of dollars to black black folks, but you can't come over here. What is that? What What does that mean? Uh, basically, we got we got a minute and 30 left. But uh, Prime Minister Tay said, publicity mag, tuck in your pussy and go sit on a dildo. And I, we're just going to let that hang for the advice. I mean, that is, that is goddamn. Come back Monday and try again. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll try again on Monday for Pussy Mag. It's we'll try bad. again. You know, I was going to say, make sure you, when we do jump on, tell your friends, friends, friends that we are jumping on because it does help, um, you know, get the word out there. We appreciate you. That's real shit. You know, I'm just going to let you all know that we appreciate you. And I, anybody want to see this double standard bullshit? In fact, I'm going to post this shit up on my page. That's yeah, what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm going to post this old corny hey, shit up on my page so you can see the hypocrisy of these cunts. And let's, and let, and let's all really uh, pay attention to the post office once again. Because obviously, but like we saw today, Publicity Mag is one of these people that is not getting their medication on time, okay? It's getting, <laughs> getting serious, okay? And it's starting to affect us all. It's starting to affect the Savage AF community, okay? So this male shortage, these male stoppages, all this fascist bullshit, it's keeping Publicity Mag in a state of what the fuck. See, look what you did. Uh, Publicity Mag said, I am not coming next week. I don't think you've ever come in your life. You've got a lot of things backed up in you. Release some of that this weekend, and then, and then, and then come on back. Come on back. Try again. Uh, we got, we got <laughs> some seconds, man. So, yo, Savage AF. Savage Jeff, have a good weekend. Don't get in no trouble. Wash your hands, wash your ass.